Thanks, Dr. Popovich, for walking in my shoes today. I'm glad you got to see what we do each and every day. I think that it's very nice that the CEO of the hospital learns what his employees do. I appreciate all your work today in the OR. I hope I didn't work you too hard. Well, Doc in the D is uh, down in the operating room uh, today. Uh, we really are uh, so pleased that uh, Katrina Walker is here to uh, join us to tell us uh, what, uh, what she does. She's part of the very important uh, uh, crew that keeps the operating room clean and uh, allows those rooms to turn over so that we can take care of those uh, patients that fly in from uh, all over the state of Michigan yes. and also our uh, patients from southeastern Michigan that we care for in surgical services. So I want to welcome you in, uh, in coming to uh, the uh, Doc and the D blog. Thank you. How are you? I am great. I'm That's great. Let, let me just ask you a few, uh, few questions, simple questions. So how okay. long have you been at uh, at Henry Ford? I've been here 10 years, August 1st, May 10 years. Now, you didn't start uh, uh, here uh, in the operating room. You uh, you started elsewhere in, within the system. Tell me what you did. Um, I started in, at Henry Ford Optimized downstairs in the main lobby. I was there for about a year and a half. I was a customer service rep. What is it that keeps you uh, here at Henry Ford and keeps you in your position for 10 years now within uh, within the operating room housekeeping services? My coworkers and my managers, we're like family. So tell me what your, tell me how your day begins and what your average day kind of looks like. When I come in in the morning, I check my area. I check the warmers, which we have to put warm blankets inside the warmers for the patient when they come out of surgery. We have to wipe the stretchers down once the patient go into the room. We have to wipe the, with a bleach wipe, wipe the stretchers down and dress the stretcher. Mm -hmm. and make sure that the room is stocked. Anything that the nurse need, we're there for them to make sure everything is stocked. Yeah, that's and that's so critical. Yes, it is. You know, it doesn't matter how good our doctors and nurses are, if they don't have their equipment there or if everything isn't clean and ready to go, we can't do the things that we do for the, for the patients. So. Right, and that's what, I'm, that's what I'm there for. So tell me about some of the other responsibilities that you have in the operating rooms. We have to dock a Neptune, and the Neptune is where they put all the body fluids inside this. It's a tall machine, and we have to put it up to another machine for it to suck the body fluids out and mm. sterilize the machine. I see. We have to hide dust in the OR. We have to scrub the sinks to make sure that the sinks are sterilized and, and clean. Great. A lot of things. Yes. There's no downtime in the OR. So uh, how, do you, uh, how do you change your work around for different, uh, different cases? Each case is different. One case, it might be a contact precaution to where I might have to use bleach wipes, which is a terminal clean, mm -hmm. wipe everything down with bleach. Another case might be a bariatric case where I don't have to use bleach wipes, just regular disinfect. So you have a lot of different uh, protocols and watching infection control issues and yes, that's really have to respond important. to that. That's critical in terms of that uh, that position. So about how long does it take you to clean a, clean a room? Three to five minutes. Wow, that quickly. Sometimes longer. If longer, then that's when one of my coworkers will come and help me so we can get the room turned over faster. Yeah, and I know they've been doing a great job of doing that. That seems to be one of the things that we do pretty efficiently is getting those rooms cleaned and ready to go. Yes. You know, I appreciate you, um, I mean, not only to do this, but uh, I so appreciate your your uh, comments. I mean, your comments are, I, I have to say, they'll, they'll be great because they, they bottle what we are, is that we have to be very patient-focused, and, and we gain our greatest enjoyment. I don't care whether or not we're a surgeon in the operating room or we're someone who works in accounting or whatever. We should get our greatest enjoyment about what we do for people because that's what we do as an organization. I want to thank you for uh, for spending the time and sharing uh, all of this uh, with us. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, Katrina Walker from Environmental Services uh, to allow me uh, in her shop uh, up in the operating uh, uh, rooms so that uh, I could uh, actually walk in her shoes and uh, cleaning uh, some of the uh, most important areas that we have in the hospital. That's in the operating rooms that keep our surgical services uh, moving forward. First of all, I think that you've uh, seen that it, this is a little bit more physical than uh, uh, one that would meet the eye. This is a lot of work, and it is vital work for what we do. No matter how good we are at, uh, uh, at any of the surgeries that we do, uh, if the environment isn't clean, then we uh, have a problem with infections, 
and we have problems with the uh, overall outcome with the, uh, with the patient. So this is incredible work that she does. Uh, uh, she also showed me the proper way to, uh, uh, to uh, mop the floor, uh, which I'm sure my wife will be uh, much more satisfied uh, with, uh, the, with the few times that I uh, mop the floor, Beth, uh, remember that. And um, uh, really showed me uh, an incredible amount of uh, repetitive uh, attention uh, again, to the details of uh, keeping uh, everything uh, clean. So I really want to uh, thank, uh, thank Katrina. I want to really uh, applaud uh, Environmental Services for the great work they do, the rapid turnover of the uh, operating room so that we can continue to have our surgeons uh, and our uh, other uh, practitioners uh, meet uh, the needs of our patients and getting them uh, restored to uh, health and wellness. So uh, again, thank you.